If you guys don't know, there is a new Batman Ninja that's coming out. So in, oh, two, really? in 2018, I believe, the first Batman Ninja movie came out. And I was like, what? 3D? No, this thing is going to be garbage. Fucking loved it. That shit was it's, awesome. It's, you're talking about the anime, right? The anime? Yeah, anime. The anime. yeah, yeah. I, I love it. I loved it was I loved fucking it. badass, right? Yeah. So this comes, uh, I, I believe there's a new one called Batman Ninja versus Yakuza League. So I, I heard they're bringing in Ooh. the actual uh, Justice League. So it could be really, really cool. The reason why I'm talking about this is because a lot of people are mad that people aren't mad at Batman, but they are mad at Yasuke. All right, this comes with some Phantom Wire. A white billionaire can be fucking be a fucking ninja. Assassin's Creed Shadow Yasuke controversy comes to the fore as fans point out hypocrisy with Batman Ninja versus Yakuza League. So if you guys don't know, there is a new one that's coming out. I believe it's soon. So I'm going to actually go down to the actual tweets right over here first trailer batman ninja versus uh, yakuza league so an actual figure in japanese lore gets a bash for being black in a video game but why but a white billionaire that uses gadgets to win uh fights can be a fucking ninja all right another one it, says uh yeah, go ahead before I, before i continue it, it, it's it's fantasy completely it's a comic book it's completely fantasy it's not it's not apples to apples there, like <laughs> like lady. It's 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 not like one thing is substituting reality and trying to change historical facts. If Assassin's Creed was just a fantasy game, fuck it, go for it, make him whatever, make him have a kangaroo gun. I don't care. But Assassin's Creed has always been based around some level of historical facts. I guess you can say once Origins happened, that kind of went out of the way a little bit because they started throwing in like mythical creatures that didn't exist because they wanted to be Witcher. But grow up, yeah. people. All right, here's another one. If Batman gets a pass, then Yasuke is owed a major apology. Um, here's a, they're, they're, these people are no. uh, majorly upset and comparing it. Now, here's the thing: if you guys don't know the original lore or what happened in Batman Ninja, Batman didn't magically well in a way he did. He didn't just appear in Japan. All right. In the first five minutes of Batman Ninja, Batman is fighting against Grodd. And Grodd is creating this fucking time machine capsule, uh, freaking crazy, like, weird engineering shit, right? Grodd is doing it, I believe, on, um, what's it called again? He's doing it in Arkham, right? And Batman is trying to stop him, but he couldn't. And he gets it off, and it basically sucks everyone into this black hole. When Batman says no... He is immediately zapped into feudal Japan. He's like, what the fuck? He's out. He's a fish out of water, but back in time. I'm going to say this right now. Aquaman looks freaking awesome in this. He does. He fucking looks badass. He and he looks yeah. like the coolest one, actually. Like, Wonder Woman looks a little bit geisha-like, and uh, Green Lantern's a girl. I don't yeah, know. Who's the developer green... of Batman? Uh, this... Who's the animator? Yeah, uh, I have it pulled up. Kamikaze Doga is a Japanese animation studio involved with yeah, Batman Ninja. Yeah. I, I I just wanted to say it's like, how is the Japan gets Batman better than Warner Brothers themselves? Hey, I, I they just, get I, they get Star Wars better too. If you look, if yeah, you yeah, the, wasn't there, there was an anime uh, the uh, visions Wars, right? Yeah, the vision yeah. stuff looked freaking yeah. great. I, yeah, I know there's a Suicide Squad Isekai, and I've been getting good feedback about that too. I've been watching that. I, it's on Hulu. Is it, is, it, right? is it good? I've liked it so far. I've, I'm like two episodes in. I yeah. like it. Yeah. So, so the thing is, the fact that like you have, it's not like, like you said, historical character inaccuracy is crazy, right? Comic hardcore fantasy. This is literally an Isekai. This is this is yeah. this is Batman Isekai. And, yeah. he, and Isekai means fantasy in Japanese, right? So you have him basically transported into the past, doing all that kind of shit. And it's like, oh, you owe him an apology. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And it's like, like, this guy is make-believe. He's not real. Batman can't hurt you in your dreams. Okay. Um and the thing is that you one have thing, it, yeah, go ahead. You Isekai means oh, other world. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it means. Not fantasy. It just means okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but, no, but, it's, 
It's my but, favorite yeah, it's, genre. But, but, but it, yeah, it's basically you're getting transported, right? But it's it, it's yep. considered under the fantasy genre. Yeah, yeah, it's a subgenre right? of fantasy. Yeah, yeah, obviously. So, so the thing is that, like, and the thing is, what studio is working? What's what's the actual development studio that works on? Uh, that's working on uh, what's it called again? Um, Shadow. Yeah, Shadow. Assassin's Creed Shadow. Isn't it from so Montreal? France? Oh yeah, is, is it is it Montreal? Is it France or uh, the French Q people? Q Quebec. I think Quebec? So. Okay. They, Somewhere love they, still, they closed a lot of their studios. Yeah. So if why couldn't they have Ubisoft Japan? Why didn't they use the Japan studio to make it? The fact that Batman Ninja used uh, Kamikaze Doga as their studio to make it is because they, okay, we're going it, to, since it's Japanese culture, we're going to leave up to the Japanese people to actually make our thing, right? It's partnered with, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Warner Brothers. Um, uh, Warner Brothers right over here. Batman. Uh, yeah, Batman, it's, Batman. Yeah, it's just I, it's so I, stupid. I briefly read the description. It's because he built it up as a fan fantasy setting. Look, they're, they're the same makers of Afro Samurai. Nobody gave a shit about and, and what's Afro, Afro Samurai. samurai? A black samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. Ubisoft Tokyo did work on it. There they did work on it, but but they didn't. They they, they I, weren't the I'm main studio. Sure, no, I am. Like, fit, I'm pretty sure they didn't have a say in the writing in the character. No, it's it's 15 studios worked on it, so it's probably just yeah. localization for the dialogue. Yeah. yeah. So now now here's the thing though, the real like the real important thing isn't that oh you owe Yasuke an apology. Oh, you, uh, you, uh, you, you, Batman beating up ninjas. Uh, yeah, because it's fake. The real, the real travesty here is Nawe not being hot. All right, I'm just putting it out there. Nawe is not is mid character. No ass, no tits. But Catwoman has big ass tits in Batman Ninja. What the fuck? This is where I draw the line. She's kind of looking like Raiden right now, and it's doing a thing for me right now. Her eyes yeah, are a little so, bit off. Like, I so, don't know why. So basically, this scene right over here, it's it, like when Batman first shows up. And the reason why, like, when Batman shows up in ancient Japan, a feudal Japan, he shows up two years later than everyone else. Everyone else has already, uh, uh, you, know, be, uh, you know, adapted into their surroundings. All the enemies became feudal lords. Like Joker is a lord, uh, a daimyo, a uh, freaking uh, same thing with Penguin. All these other characters, they're all like lords. And then like uh, Batman has to hide in the shadows, right? He he ends up becoming a ninja uh, because I uh, was called again. Um, uh, all the uh, all the, the the Robins are already there, including Nightwing. Okay, yeah. I have to I have to laugh that the Flash literally looks like one of the characters from Big Trouble in Little China. So that just makes me laugh in a, like a nice warm spot in my heart. Yeah. But yeah, the fact that you have characters like that, like Japan, that's what, that's what ja Japanese is. The, Jap Japan, Korea, all of them are winning, in my opinion, in terms of video game, in, in terms of actual stuff that's coming out, is because they know how to make hot characters, right? Yeah, her her eyes are a little bit weird over here, but her I'm not looking it, at her okay. eyes. It, 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 it's like, her design is just like, I get the vibe that it's the type of design that will grow on me over time. The more I look at it, or the more see animations and scenes I look at it. I I you, do find it weird that they cover up Wonder Woman. Like they don't let you see her too much in the trailer. Mm -hmm. The only one you see a good face shot for the females is Green Lantern, which I'm trying to figure out which Green Lantern it's supposed to be. But, um. Yeah, um, uh, it looks good. I like it. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, it it, it, it looks freaking awesome. Now, wow, I didn't even see that the full flat the, the flash one. The flash looks cool. Like he looks he like, looks fucking badass. Holy shit! Holy, that's that's the promotional art. Yeah, he like they're they're doing a great job. Like Aquaman looks badass. Flash looks badass. Where's Superman? I want to see what Superman looks like. Unless they're gonna think he's too OP, we can't bring Superman here. Oh man, that that is really cool though. It's really really cool. Now, the thing is, uh, let me show Catwoman the actual Catwoman in her outfit. Like she she looks great in her outfit. And oh my, this is this is an actual statue of her too. Uh, Jesus. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pull this up. 
because I might buy this figure now. That's how she looks like. This 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 is an actual toy, of course, uh, but this is how she looks like in the in the movie. Right. They, uh, they know, like, uh, all right. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's how you make a hot little sam a uh, hot little uh, ninja girl. Yeah. I kind of like how her eye like her mask actually looks a little bit like owl eyes too for some reason like I don't, I don't know if it's the red around it but yeah. Yeah. And good. then of course so just compare it. Okay, just keep looking at the screen. You see what you're looking at, right? You're like, "Oh my god, I'm edging. Oh my god, I'm almost there. Give me another 10 seconds." And then bam. You get American Chinese Korean, whatever, freaking Harley Quinn with her boobs so far apart that you don't even know if they're actual boobs. This is an American American animation studio. And then you yeah. have... Yep. I American mean, there are boobs like that. There's, there are boobs that exist like that, but normally... Like... No. And also, why... why you're literally putting her in like a weird porn type outfit because like you're showing like you're doing like, Oh, I want to make sure the under boob is highlighted. So we're gonna make that a different color. So the under boobs highlighted, like mm -hmm. it's like a raver girl outfit. Yep. Oh. Now, now you, now do you want to see Harley Quinn from the Isakaya or this show or just the, Bat the Samurai? Batman and Batman Ninja. Ninja. That's that's how she looks like. Dang. I can I can feel the gravitational forces of her tits in yeah. this image. Like they're about to swing over to the other side as she's flying. Like, and I this is Cat, that. This is Catwoman right over here. Very. I actually like the fact that the hair comes through the the got. Like I like that. Yeah. See. That's the reason why <laughs> the big cat bell. <laughs> I so love it. I love like, it. It's very, it's very <laughs> cute. It's very kawaii. Yeah. But yeah. Like that. The fact that you have, we, and I think what we should do moving forward, we should give all of our IPs. We should do all the story here in house. Send the character designs, send the animation, send them all to Korea and Japan. They will fucking make a way better version of what the woke tards here do. Is because they can't do shit, right? All of them came out of uh, Cal Arts. Like they all will look the same. They all look stupid, stupid and ugly. And uh, yeah, it sucks. I hate it. But yeah, speaking of the Isekai, right? What's it called again? Uh, is it Har Suicide Squad Isekai? Is, it, is, that, yeah, is that what I think it is? Yeah, so. Suicide Squad Isekai. The anime okay. style looks really good. The animation, I like it. Is is it the same people that did Edge Runners? Is it looks like it? I don't know if they are, but like it, it, it if if it is, but I I like how this looks. It's a very playful art style. The art style is very nice. I love the Harley. Like they they aged Harley Quinn down a little bit. Looks like like they they definitely made her look more younger. Oh okay. Mm. I, they uh they made it's made by Wit Studio. Oh, Wit Studio is freaking top tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also, okay, yeah. They, they, Vinland Saga. I really like the, their art style there too. Yeah. So, Wit Studio also did um, Attack uh, the first couple seasons of Attack on Titan. They also did uh, Death Note, and they also did um, what's it called again? Uh, Spy Family. So, yeah, it makes sense why it looks good versus this garbage. That's why I hate it. I, 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 I hate this. But the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to. Batman Ninja. Man, I'm looking for and the, the Isekai one you said it's out already, Tom? It's it's on Hulu. Yeah, I'll I'll check it out. I guess that actually looks good. Right. But here's the thing DC is at least smart enough to be like, okay, we're gonna do this and this, and we're gonna do both, and whatever works, works, but at least we have a backup. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.